I believe very strongly that Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. And I think it's in the interests of the nation of America and perhaps the world um, for people to understand that and, and to find those responsible for it and trace them back to those corrupt individuals in power who can do things like whack people while they're in jail. In June of 2019, McAfee tweeted that he will be naming names, exposing a corrupt CIA agent, and announced a dead man switch of over 31 terabytes of incriminating data. About six months later, McAfee posted an image on social media of a fresh tattoo he got and wrote that he was getting subtle messages from U.S. officials saying, in effect, we're coming for you, McAfee. We're going to kill yourself. I got a tattoo today just in case. If I suicide myself, I didn't. I was whacked. That same month, McAfee launches Whacked, and Epstein didn't kill himself crypto. In October of 2020, McAfee was arrested in Spain, where he tweeted out, I am content in here. I have friends. The food is good. All is well. Know that if I hang myself a la Epstein, it will be no fault of mine. On June 23rd, a Spanish court agreed to extradite McAfee to the U.S., where he faces criminal charges of tax evasion. McAfee's wife is distressed and is concerned that her husband will be murdered in jail. And less than 24 hours later, it is reported that McAfee killed himself in his jail cell. After his alleged suicide, a letter Q is posted to his Instagram. A final troll from beyond the grave? The Instagram Q post sent internet Q sleuths into a frenzy, claiming that the Q picture is a hexadecimal representation of a private key for an Ethereum wallet, which some are claiming is now automatically sending out data to friends of McAfee. One thing is pretty clear. McAfee did not kill himself. Others are expressing concern and stating that they will also not kill themselves. The main message is clear. If the elite crooks want you dead, then they can kill you in broad daylight. For InfoWars.com, this is Greg Reese.